Emmerdale villain Mina Juttler's days could be numbered on the ITV soap as the Christmas Eve episode of the village-based drama seemed to suggest her first victim Nadine could be alive and living under police protection. Mina, played by Paige Sandu, has become more evil than ever in the last few months on Emmerdale, claiming the lives of three villagers after telling them all about deadly secrets. From the moment the villain set her sights on killing Liana Kavanagh, Mimi Slinger, viewers of the ITV soap discovered she had already murdered someone before, her best friend Nadine. Having learned about the death of her sister's friend, Manpreet Sharma, Rebecca Sarkar, did some digging during the Christmas Eve episode and discovered an unsettling truth about her sibling. However, could her first victim actually be alive and helping the police to locate her killer? The festive episode began with Mina and Manpreet supposedly burying the hatchet as the villain said she wanted her sister in her baby's life. Viewers know the killer is not pregnant and she has been spouting lies to try and keep Billy Fletcher, Jay Consul, tied to her forever. However, as the sisters were speaking, Manpreet received a phone call from a woman named Carol, Laura Pitt Pulford, who turned out to be Nadine's sister. Later in the episode, the GP met up with the mysterious newcomer as she wanted to learn more about Mina's friendship with the deceased. As they sat and spoke, Manpreet realized there could be more to Nadine's death than meets the eye, hinting she could be the one to uncover the truth about the latter being in police protection. Manpreet was beginning to question her sister as soon as the conversation began, with Carol explaining Mina had told her and Nadine her family were dead. With the GP very much alive, she questioned the newcomer as to why she thought the villain had something to do with the deceased's death, which was made to look like a suicide. The newcomer explained, Nadine took Mina in when she had nowhere to go and Mina exploited that for all she could. Used her up until there was nothing left and then she killed her, the mysterious woman continued, leaving Manpreet in shock. Mina forced herself into Nadine's life and then she murdered her. Carol added, explaining the police did investigate any foul play but the villain had covered her tracks. This was a major win to suggest Nadine could still be alive as if the young woman did still have a weak pulse on the way to the hospital, the doctors could have worked to bring her back. Knowing something wasn't right with the crime scene, the paramedics could have informed the medical team someone tried to kill Nadine and so they needed to keep her treatment on the down low. With the police being informed, they could have questioned Nadine as to who would have wanted her dead, with Mina's name at the top of the list. Not wanting the young woman to be in any more danger, the authorities could have come up with a solution by putting her into police protection. Therefore, they could have continued to monitor the villain whilst ensuring she didn't know her first victim was still alive. However, Mina would have been able to kill more people as she has made every one of them look like an accident and with no evidence to suggest she murdered them, the police could be finding it hard to pin anything on her. Nadine could take matters into her own hand if she discovers the police have still not managed to catch Mina in the act. Unable to sit back and watch any more, the villain's first victim could escape and confront the woman she believed was her best friend. As they come face to face for the final time, Mina could try to kill her again as she knows this could be her downfall. Will this be the moment the authorities catch the murderer in the act as they witness her trying to get rid of Nadine? Carol continued to tell Manpreet about her sister, telling the GP, Nadine was a good friend to Mina. She tried to help her. She invited Mina into her home when she had nowhere else to go. She continued but Manpreet said none of this made any sense. From what she knew, Mina had her own flat and a husband during the time they weren't talking but Carol explained the villain's spouse had thrown her out. Mina took over Nadine's whole life. She controlled her friends, her relationships, her career, the newcomer added. Manpreet was confused as she read in the article about Nadine's death she was going to a spa with friends that weekend. The newcomer said this was because her sister was trying to make new friends and take back control of her life from Mina. Mina didn't like that and she tried to drive a wedge and when that didn't work, she killed Nadine. There was no way she would take her own life. She wouldn't do that to our mum and dad, I know she wouldn't, 
Carol declared but Manpreet said that didn't make her sister responsible. She murdered Nadine and she got away with it. Your sister is deeply disturbed and she is dangerous, Manpreet, Carol remarked. In one of the biggest twists the show has ever seen, will the villain's first victim really walk into the village to bring her down?